Hey guys, it's Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Coty Espan Original Powder. I've been wanting to try out this powder probably since I heard about it. Um, I was always curious about the RCMA and the Coty and a lot of people recommended the RCMA. Um, but also a lot of people recommended the Espan. So um, I got the second hand from another beauty YouTuber um, called Nina so I'm gonna go ahead and test it out on my skin today so for the foundation today I'm gonna be using a um, dewy or satin kind of one just to see how it works on my oily skin so the foundation I'm gonna be using today is from Simi Cosmetics this is their silky liquid foundation I do have a discount code for you guys so if you're ever interested in trying out her foundation range I highly recommend that you do. Uh, my code is just Bianca and you get 15% off your order. So I'm going to go ahead and start just blending it in with a brush. And then we're going to set it down and do some concealer as well. Um, by the way, this eye look, I was testing out the BH Cosmetics Essential Eye Brush Set. So that's why my eyes are pre-done. So I'm not going to be... So I'm going to do my concealer and then I'm going to hop off to this other video that I'm busy filming, do the rest of my makeup and then we can do check-ins throughout the day so that you guys can see how the powder holds up and if it actually like is worth the hype because when I was watching reviews, um, Tati Westbrook said this, this is one of her favourite powders because it is so affordable. So I was like, that sounds right up my alley. So I actually paid like 300 Rand for a bundle that included a Colourpop highlighter, a Wet n Wild highlighter and an Artist Couture highlighter. So I think it was a pretty good deal. I was only really interested in the in the Coty Airspun obviously, but it was a bundle sale. So I just bought it as is because I was like, why not? Um, but yeah, I think Coty Espan has literally been around like, forever. Like when I showed my mom that I bought the powder, she was like, oh my god, Coty Espan. Like my gran used to use that. So I was like, wow. So this has definitely um, been a while, or been around for a while now then. So clearly if it's been around for this long, it has to have something good about it, surely. So I'm just popping some extra foundation where I need the extra coverage. And then I'm just gonna press the foundation into my skin. If you haven't seen my review or weight test for this foundation, you can go ahead and check it out on my channel. Um, all you have to do is just either scroll down, I'll link it in my card, or you can just search Bianca Venerello, see me. <laughs> then I'm just going to take a wet and wild concealer. And I'm just going to use that same brush because it's just so handy. Okay, so my foundation is done. Um, so a lot of powder comes out in this thing. So you have to be careful. I can't lift it up because it's literally going to go everywhere. But Okay, so a lot of people said that the smell was overpowering. But I actually don't mind it. It kind of smells like sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, I don't really mind it as much. Um, obviously, some people's sense of smell is sensitive to this. I'm just going to take some on my sponge. And I'm going to place it underneath my eye area. And I'm just going to pat it in. And then set the rest of my face with the excess. Wow, my face got matte very, very quickly. And you guys saw how little I put, like I just dipped it in. Damn, mommy. This just became a matte foundation in 3.4 seconds. I can feel this is going to be my saving grace when it comes to winter. Now, just look at the difference. My pores look like so airbrushed. 
My under eye looks airbrushed. It's amazing. Look at the difference between like this side of my face and that side of my face. That is incredible. Let me just take a little bit for my forehead. I'm going to put some of my eyebrow over there. Holy shit, that has completely transformed this foundation. It now looks like a super mattifying I don't know if you guys can see the difference in my forehead like I mean this foundation is a beautiful dewy foundation but like if I want to wear it in summer no I can amazing so I'm just going to take the same amount and do the other eye area I feel like I'm going to have this powder forever, to be honest with you. Guys, this foundation is looking so good right now. Under eye bags, who? Oily skin, who? And it's not looking cakey at all like usually when you put like press powders or some other powders and honestly the smell isn't that bad like once you put it on your face obviously it's not gonna it hasn't changed the color of the foundation I'm absolutely shocked. Amazing. Wow. I've never actually experienced um, a powder do this before. So this is, this is incredible. My under eye area looks so smooth and flawless. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup um, and then I'll show you the finished product and then we can like really talk about this foundation so we, then we can chat about how products perform on top of it that kind of thing okay, so i've just finished the rest of my makeup all of my um powder products blended absolutely beautifully on top of this um i will say Um, it is looking a bit weird by my nose, but it could be just the combination of the powder and the the foundation. Um, I will say is that this powder isn't sticking to any of my like my dry spots. It is winter currently where I am, and even though I do have oily skin, I do have some flaky areas of dry skin. It's usually around where my break my breakouts have started to like peel and like disintegrate and go away finally um but yeah so i will keep you guys posted throughout today about how the oil like holds up and if i do produce oil how it looks when i touch up um i hope you guys are having an amazing day so far and i'll check in again with you later hey guys so i was supposed to do a follow-up of the previous time that i had the whole makeup on and the foundation on with the powder but um I actually i had to run out and then i had to come back home and i didn't have enough time to film a check-in so what I've done is today is Thursday so it's like a few days after Friday so you can call it a week so today I've just put on exactly the same product same foundation moisturizer powder products highlight all the face makeup is the same obviously except for my eyes and my lips um, so I've had this foundation on and the powder since 8 o'clock and like I said the Simi foundation is a dewy foundation on me, so it isn't a matte foundation. 
So the whole point of this Ace Ban Coty review is I wanted to see how it would work on a dewy foundation on oily skin. Because the way that I said, I want powders to work on everything. So the next foundation I want to try out is obviously on a matte foundation. So I do have oily skin if you are new to my channel. And having this foundation on since 8 o'clock is probably so, so, so good. And my skin has only gotten oily like on my nose, which is very, very common. Um, the rest of my foundation, usually I'm very oily like underneath my eyes and my forehead is usually very, very shiny. Obviously, where I have put highlighter, it will reflect. But I'm super impressed with this powder. And later on today, I will do another check-in when I get home because I'm going out for dinner now. But I will say, like, I went to Musgrave and I was running around. I forgot my parcel. I forgot my packages inside of Clicks because I had it on the back of my trolley. And I ran to the other side of the shopping center. So I did work up a bit of a sweat even though it is winter regardless of my oily skin and i'm really really impressed with how this foundation has held up on my skin so i'm going to go ahead and do another check in later on and then give my final review but for now i do want to see how it touches up on the skin like will it make it any less cakey will it make it more cakey like how will it affect because usually like when you put a powder on you're like okay i'll probably need to touch this up later but obviously because it is such a huge container you would probably have to decant it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and touch it up on the areas that I am oily and see if it has any effect. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my sponge which I used to apply that morning. And I'm just going to touch it up where I'm feeling a little bit oily. And then we'll see if it like adds to the cakiness. Because I can see already that it's mattifying the skin. So that's a good sign. So I'm just going to place it where I got a little bit oily. So right on my pores over here, um, they don't look horrible, but it's definitely building up. I don't know if it's the concealer, because um, it didn't do this. I was saying, sorry, I ran out of space. Um, it is looking a teeny bit cake here um, on this part of my skin here um i mean it's i'm not mad but i'll try and show you guys i don't know if you guys can see my pores are a little bit more noticeable in the areas where i have touched it up i don't know if it's because my oil peaks through there um it didn't look too bad when i got home but i think adding a little bit of extra powder there has just made it look a bit cakey um I'm not mad though because this part is doing really really well so far but I will show you guys how my foundation looks um, at the end of the night so I will check in with you guys then all right guys I'm back it is seven o'clock so I have had the foundation on and the powder since eight o'clock this morning so so I've had the foundation on for quite a while now um, and I did touch it up at about three o'clock um, so looking at my foundation, um, it, honestly, it's not bad. I do have a bit of like frown lines and laugh lines, which is normal. Um, my mascara is looking dreadful though. <laughs> um, it's weird because I set that area with powder. Um, not sure about that. Um, but it's my foundation is looking okay. I would definitely think that this is a good powder. Um, Considering that this is a dewy foundation, bearing in mind that I am oily skin, like, this is really good. Um, I would be interested to see how it would work with a matte foundation and then setting it with a with the powder and then seeing how long it lasts. But because the, the powder has given me an, a longer wear time, even though it is a dewy foundation on my skin, I think it's a really, really good buy. And the first application, my pores don't look as bad anymore. I think the powder just needed some time to settle into the skin. And once it has settled into the skin, it looks really, really nice. And the first official, um, like, like the first official time using it, I would say that it's a good powder. Is it good for, like, hiding lines and that kind of thing? I don't think that's what it's for, if I'm honest with you. Um, and bearing in mind, I didn't use a, a pore refining primer or anything like that. Like, I don't usually have 
a problem with my pores i say this in every video like it's not it's not something that i would go and buy a pore primer for like it's not like bad like i i think having pores means you're human but if you do have super large pores i wouldn't know i think i would just have to test on a few clients and see but also again you would use a pore refining primer because I was, that would mask it before you even put the powder on anyway so i do think that look this only retails for ten dollars it is super affordable i think for the price it is good because this does say um this is a ultra smooth powder hides tiny lines wrinkles and blemishes and gives a new softness to your skin i agree it does really make your skin look soft and supple and almost airbrushed in a sense but like you can still see your skin like um I'll be like I said I will be trying this powder with many different foundations and seeing and then like you guys know I always update you either in my stories or I'll mention it in other videos to come I do definitely feel like I would repurchase this I just feel like um, it's a good powder like majority of the other powders that I use like they don't hold my oil or my sweat even so um, I, I think I would repurchase it again and I think the only real issue some people have had that I've seen is just the smell um, and some people did say that it does emphasize dryness which I haven't experienced even though I do have oily skin I do have some dry patches from some previous breakouts and the powder hasn't aggravated it in any way um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys had an an amazing day and let me know if you want to meet to test out any other powders I would be also keen to get my hands on an RCMA powder because that is also very, very hyped and affordable um, yeah just to try all these different powders um, a few powders that I really want to try is the Becca Hyaluronic one the Laura Mercier one I, I want to try so many um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye